Good day everyone. Today I will be providing an orientation guide on how to get started in Fall at Destiny. When maintaining a media center for a school, it's important for the librarian to become familiar with its OPAC system. This online public access catalog provides information on all of the material housed within a particular media center. This will include information on and the circulation of the books, magazines, references, and resources within that library. Today, our team will be reviewing the Follett Destiny OPAC system. When we have completed our orientation, you will be able to plan, access, and apply all that you've learned today. So let's begin. In this presentation, you will learn to set up, reserve, and gain access to the Interlibrary Loan System. We will discuss setting up patron types and designators, creating and importing patron records, updating and deleting patron records, assigning passwords and patron numbers, reserving materials online, and performing interlibrary loans within this automation system. Let's begin by creating and importing patron records, setting up patron types and designators, and assigning passwords and patron numbers. You will begin by logging into your account and then selecting Circulation. When under the Checkout tab, you will type the student's name or number that you wish to add. You can begin by entering the student's name here and then selecting Find Patron or Go. Passwords are not required for students and teachers to have access to their Fall at Destiny catalog but their barcode is used as their personal access number. Once again, this information is transferred to Fall at Destiny and made available to you, the library media specialist. If your school does not have a data source system and you have to manually add a student, you should first check and see if a record already exists. Choose Back Office and Manage Patron. In the Find field, type their name or add their barcode. Select Search. If a, if a student is coming from another district, then choose Search Across the District. If no record is found, then enter New Patron. If it does exist, then you can update the current record by selecting Edit. When entering information for the new patron, only the last name and barcode are required, but it is always best to complete as many fields as possible. It is also important after selecting the Edit tab that you indicate the appropriate access level for your newest patron. In addition, if you are in need of a barcode, 
be sure to select print label on save and your barcode will be printed upon saving your information. This will lead us into updating and deleting patron records. Whenever a student leaves during the middle of a school year, administrative offices may choose to allow their records to remain in their system. This does not have to be the case for your personal patron list. Simply select Back Office and Update Patrons. Here you will have the option to delete. If you choose, you can delete a patron, such as a teacher or a student that is no longer with you. You can also excuse the fines of a student. Or maybe your school has decided to excuse the fines of a group of students that are graduating this year. Either way, both of these features are permitted to you under the Update tab. In addition, if you are in need of merging any files or moving any fields, those options are also available to you under this tab. Next, we will discuss reserving materials online and performing interlibrary loans with this automation system. When reserving materials online for a patron, first you will go to Circulation. Then you will select the Hold Interlibrary Loan tab. Here you will type in the name of the patron or you will scan the barcode. It is important at this time to choose to remove any checks that are involved in only my patrons. This will restrict your search and we want you to have a wide range of choices when searching for this patron. Once you have entered the patron's name, select Go. When the patron's name appears, choose this icon and select Add Hold. When this is done, the new Hold Request page appears. In the Find field, scan the copy or type the title of the manuscript that you desire. And from there, choose All Participating Libraries and select Go. When finding the copy that you desire, Select Hold It, and then Save. Another way in which books can be exchanged through the Interlibrary Loan System is to choose the Circulation Checkout tab. Select Only Search Box, select the Only Search Box, and this allows you to have access to all of the students within the district. Once the students' names are found or is found, you will see that each student's name will appear with their particular school. You can then scan the book and it will be checked out under that student's name.
Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you all the best as you get started in Follett Destiny.